Welcome back to the Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's live daily TV and radio show. I'm Tyler Keith alongside Dave Scott as we continue on with all the greatest new, latest and greatest news and events happening all throughout the Greater West Bloomfield community. One of the favorites of the summer season here in the Greater West Bloomfield is the Marsh Bank Music Series. It kicked off uh, earlier this summer already and continues on Wednesday night with the Insiders, a Tom Petty tribute uh, band as the headliner on Wednesday's Marsh Bank Music Concert. The, the whole event, 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. with music beginning at 6 o'clock uh, at Marsh Bank Park off of Hiller Road. Joining us now on the program is Max Lockwood, guitarist and vocalist with the Insiders, a Tom Petty tribute band, will be performing at this week's Marsh Bank Music Concert. Max, thanks for being with us today. Yes, thanks for having me, Tyler. Yeah, glad to have you on to talk about your, your group because uh, the Insiders has a pretty interesting backstory. It dates back to uh, just after the death of the late Tom Petty and, and then ultimately uh, developed into something that wasn't really planned as being a band at first. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, you know, I, I came up playing music in my own project and in bands uh, throughout my 20s and uh covered Tom Petty a lot and people often told me I sounded like him or even looked like him. And uh, so when he uh, passed away tragically much too soon, uh, a group of us decided to get together and do a little bit of a recording project to honor his music. And then I decided, you know, let's do a show. We should just do one show. I got a bunch of friends together and we did a, a sold out show at the Pyramid Scheme in Grand Rapids. And it was a benefit for a local domestic violence and women's shelter. And we raised about five grand for that. Um, and the band came together in just this really amazing organic way. And it felt so good to play that music and honor the legacy of one of the greatest American rock and roll bands and singer songwriters of all time, uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. And so we decided to do a couple more shows and then a couple more shows after that. And it just kind of kept going from there. And we, we really love it. It's a great opportunity to share music and you know lift spirits and uh bring tom petty's music to uh people who can't uh, enjoy the band live anymore um and people really enjoy it and we really enjoy doing it we love the music and uh, you know many of us are songwriters and have played in uh, original uh, bands throughout our careers and our professional musicians and never really set out to start a tribute band but have really found uh, a lot of enjoyment in doing it and what's great about Tom Petty's music is it's rock music, but but it's rock music of of a variety of different tastes. And so, for you and for your band, Max, what about Tom Petty's music makes it such a favorite of yours? It's a great question. Uh, you know, he was Tom Petty was a great songwriter. He was a great lyricist. You know, I'm a songwriter myself, and I really think he was a true poet. And so he really cared about crafting a song and the way they created music in the studio and at their live shows was just so intentional and brought together so many deep influences from the history of rock and roll um that it's just a really rich kind of music and just very original you know it's got that southern thing going on it's got you know kind of the true heart of rock and roll and uh you know, they were just a great band. They wrote great songs. And they're sort of like songs that have become, they've really gotten woven into the fabric of what it means to be an American. And, and they're almost like modern folk music to me. I mean, there's so many songs that everybody knows and loves and can sing along to. So it's just a great experience for people of all ages. Hey, Max, good to have you with us. Dave Scott here. Um, thank you for joining us. I was talking to Gary Graff, certainly. I, I don't know if you know Gary or not. Uh, he is a, a local Michigan-based writer. He used to write for the Free Press. Just yeah, wrote the book, okay. Alice Cooper. Yeah, you probably know Gary. And he was talking the other day about tribute bands and how popular they are right now. Um, can you talk about that a little bit? What's your experience, and why do you think that especially now that tribute bands have become so big yeah that's it's an interesting thing um and you know it's not a world i quite frankly ever paid attention to very very acutely uh before we started this band like i said sort of almost on accident um and so i i kind of view it from a little bit of a different perspective i think um and i can appreciate it a lot more 
than maybe I once would have. Uh, and it's a conversation I was just having with someone else. I, I really think, you know, there's so much music out there um, nowadays, and it's so easy to make music, and so there's a proliferation of music that's out there, but it's not exactly easy to find if you don't know where to look um, on the Internet. You know, popular mainstream music is something that I think a lot of people who grew up on the music of, like, the 70s and 80s and, you know, rock and roll with guitars and voices and, you know, imperfections, um, there's a lot in today's music, at least that's what's on the radio, that I think people just don't have an entry point into and can't relate to really well. And so there's, and, and just there's so much content out there all over on the internet everywhere now um, that I think it's almost like comforting and nostalgic to go back to this music that's um, kind of from a simpler time and maybe feels a little more like human and like easy to relate to and access. Um, and so I think that has a lot to do with it. Yeah. And, you know, in, in the world, in the digital age, there's something just nice about, you know, classic rock and roll. That's just like from the heart and pure and live and has that energy to well, it. Well, you know, one of the other things, Max, and, and we've only got a couple of minutes left. One of the other things is there are an awful lot of fans that like the music that I grew up with that are in their 20s or even younger that just didn't have a chance to see these artists. So seeing sure. a tribute band, especially one that's good like you, that represents the, pro the original product uh, with such honesty is a really great thing, and I think people love that. Okay, uh, favorite yeah. Tom Petty song. Uh, I got mine. I, I think my favorite driving down I-75, running up north with a wind down, down song always was Born to be Wild. But I had to retire that when Running Down the Dream came out because that song and that guitar riff right at the beginning, oh, my gosh, you just got to turn your radio up loud. My favorite Tom Petty song. Do you like that one? And are you going to perform that at Marsh Bank on Wednesday? Uh, I'm, you know, a magician doesn't reveal its secrets, so I'm, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> okay. But uh, right. I, I, uh, we do perform that one quite regularly. Of course, amazing song, and, and maybe one of the best driving songs ever written. Um, Absolutely. You know, I've, I've really been enjoying the kind of wildflowers and mid-90s, she's the one era of Tom Petty. I think there's like a real sweetness that came through in his writing at that time. We've been playing the song Walls a lot, which I really love. You know, Crawling Back to You is another great one. Uh, you know, there's, it's, I'm, it's hard to pick a favorite, man. There's so many great songs, and there's so many, such a wide range. All right, we got to let Tyler in on this. Tyler, favorite Tom Petty song? Well, Max already let the cat out of the bag on that one. Wildflowers is probably my favorite one. I'm a little more of a sentimental, heart on the sleeve kind of guy, and so mm -hmm. that that I really love the writing on that song. The mu musically, it's excellent. The acoustic guitar, the finger picking, uh, really plays in to to my enjoyment of that song. So I, I would go Wildflowers, Dave. Cool. All right. Well, very good. Well, Max, thanks for being with us. We appreciate you being on the show. Um, next time you got to bring your guitar, and maybe we'll set you up. I don't know if you could do that. I mean. You know, this isn't the Ed Sullivan show, um, really dated reference there, but you never know. Maybe we can get you on it. And I know the people in West Bloomfield will be thrilled to have you at Marsh Bank. It's kind of like a mini micro pine knob, um, and you're really going to enjoy it if you've not been there before. Great crowd, friendly people, wonderful environment, and we're really delighted you're coming to West Bloomfield. Can't wait. Looking forward to it. And thanks for having me. All right, Max Lockwood joining us here on the Splash Live. Tyler, it's a great series, and, you know, it's kind of like going out and seeing Tom Petty. Are you kidding me? That's going to be a great, a great Wednesday night. Yeah, I, I wish I could get out to that concert on Wednesday night. I got other things going on, some other constraints that are keeping me from that. But I, I looking at that calendar, that was the first one I marked off as, all right, let's see how the schedule aligns <laughs> that week, because that might be one of the ten. But for the rest of the greater West Bloomfield community, definitely get out to Marsh Bank Music. The concert begins at 6 o'clock, but the, all, all the fun begins at 5.30 and runs until 8.30.